What is going on everybody? Thank you all so much for tuning in for another video on the Dirty Max Jack YouTube channel. If you guys are tuning in for the first time, my name's Jack and I've uh, basically had this YouTube channel for about two years and it's predominantly diesel and Duramax focused. So thank you guys for touching base. If you like what you see in this video, please remember to give it a big thumbs up and tap that subscribe button if you haven't already. So today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to talk about arguably one of the biggest businesses in the world and that is Amazon. Wow. If you don't know who Amazon is, uh... What rock have you been living under? Because I'm sure it's a very big one. But long story short, guys, I've got some stuff that I need to talk to you all about. So I'm sure that a ton of you guys are Amazon Prime members just like myself. And I need to admit right now that it is easily one of the most convenient methods of shopping. This might just be some bad luck on my behalf. But seeing that the stars aligned and I had three errors in three shipments three times in a row related to automotive parts, I wanted to make this video. Just to let you guys know that sometimes what you see when you're scrolling through the app isn't actually what you're going to get. Alright guys, now before we jump into the main subject matter of the vlog, I just want to let you guys know what we're going to be doing today. I got to cover three topics of information with you guys about what is up and coming and we are actually going to start to take some parts off of this truck today and install some other parts. We're going to go all into that here in a little while. Luckily, I've got some time today to really sit back and knock this stuff out. I've been trying to get around to it for the longest time, but if you're a new subscriber to the channel, I have three Duramaxes, which can be kind of challenging at times to juggle, especially on top of my full-time job and some of the other businesses that I'm starting up on the side. And then for my returning subscribers, you guys might see that the LML is actually not here. We have the LBZ in the driveway and of course the LLY here behind me. A lot of you guys have been asking me about where that truck is and why it hasn't been featured in videos. I am hearing you guys and I know that you want answers. That will be in another video probably coming up later this week. I've got some information that I need to talk with you guys about specific to that truck, but we'll leave that one for the parking lot for now. All right, so first item of business is you guys need to mark your calendars for January 1st, 2019 because I'm going to be giving away one of my Duramax trucks. So just to review guys, I've got my 2004 single cab LLY, my 2006 LBZ crew cab LT, and then I've got my 2015 LML crew cab as well. That is the LTZ fully trimmed. We are going to be opening the Duramax giveaway January 1st, 2019, and it is going to run through January and into February. Just for those that were asking, all of that information will be down in the description below, I want you guys to mark your calendars because that is something that I am extremely excited to open up for you guys to be able to give back to all of you that support me all the time. I'm not going to specify which one. You guys can speculate as much as you want, which kind of makes it fun, but I know that a lot of you guys are excited to find out which one it's going to be, so definitely stay tuned for that. That is Tuesday, January 1st, 2019. Second item of business for my returning subscribers, boom. The Enthusiast wall banners, very similar to that, except we made some minor graphical changes. They are also going to be live for the giveaway. And then last item of business on the agenda here is key tags are on their way back. We've got some new designs. I will blast them up on the screen right now so you guys can take a look. We've got two blown money and two built for boost in those color combinations that you can see there and will be going live for the giveaway as well. So that's all I wanted to cover with that. So the first instance that sparked this off was actually ordering a set of swivel sockets. Basically you get size five through 15, they're pretty convenient. They're not the best things in the world, but you know, they're, they're legitimate. I've seen people use them in the past and they were worked very well. So I paid the full retail price. I saw in the picture, exactly that container right there. So I knew what I was getting, but all was good. Saw the package, it came in two days later. I went to open it up because it was a very tiny little box and I found this. They sent me a single 13 millimeter socket. That vendor and saying, hey, look, I paid for X, you gave me Y, and I don't know what the deal is. And then they basically claim that Amazon sometimes goes in and updates the SKUs and what they'll try and do is consolidate like products. So if a description is similar and a vendor is selling the same product, they will actually consolidate those listings so there aren't overlapping redundancies. So then the second issue that I had with Amazon basically is I ordered a roll pan and it was a white primer roll pan as well, so a lot of the primer was flaking off all over the place and it was just an absolute nightmare. I basically ended up emailing that vendor and saying, guys, look, this is completely unacceptable and I'm basically requesting a shipment tag so I can send this one back to you so you can send me a new one. Now this roll pan actually also comes with hardware. It comes with a little light for the license plate, uh, the associated wiring with that, and then the mounting bolts respectively. Um, so I packaged everything back up, really nice and secure, sent it back out. About a week later, they'd sent me this new box. 
From initially looking at it, you'd think all is well. What's good is there's really no dents or dings or paint chipping here on the actual face of the roll pan. We'll call this the face because it's really the part that's mostly exposed. But upon further investigation, I found a few things with this shipment. So there's a chip right here on the roll pan. And then if we just ever so slightly bring it out, then here we'll flip it over real quick for you guys in the back end. It looks decent. Again, no big dents or dings or any large paint flaking that you can see apparently, but it looks like the real issues are at the welds. So right here, you guys can see that the paint is chipping pretty bad, not only where the crease was made in this piece of steel, but also on the top end. And what that tells me is these welds were not cleaned and sanded down appropriately. They're still very, very rough. So unfortunately the paint had nothing to adhere to there. And then on the other side, we run into the exact same issues you guys can see. Some of these spider crackings and how this whole area is elevated telling me that it wasn't sanded at all and the proper prep really wasn't taken with getting this thing ready to be sprayed, which is unfortunate because if they're gonna be spraying it, you'd figure that they'd wanna just do an extra three minute step here to get this nice and sanded down so the paint can adhere no problem. I mean, at the end of the day, that's going to reduce the amount of customer claims that they have because a customer's gonna be able to get this thing, take off all their pre-existing hardware, throw the new bumper on, and everything will be good to go. But now in my instance, I'll take this to the body shop, which I don't so much care. I have a resource to do that, somebody that's very reputable and they have a very, high knack for quality, but for somebody that doesn't have those connections or has a white truck and wants to just buy this roll pan to throw it on for the time being, you kind of can't do that because we're dealing with steel here, guys. So those exposed areas that I just pointed out will rust and it'll quickly jeopardize this thing in a very short amount of time, which kind of sucks. Now, I'm not saying that every single time that you order an automotive part off of Amazon, they're gonna be screwed up. I have had my stories of successes, not only with the mirrors, which you guys are very interested in. I'll link those below as well. All of you guys have been asking about the mirrors that I put. That information will be there for you guys. Plus, I ordered what's in this box. This box today, I'm not sure. And the one thing that you guys have wanted me to put on the truck here for the longest time is, of course, the new trim piece for the tailgate handle. So we'll, uh, we'll get that on here shortly. Boom. All right, let's see how long that one can endure some boosted launches. As I had mentioned, I really have no need for this bumper as a step or for towing purposes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to remove the trailer hitch, disconnect all of the wiring, and then remove the bumper as well. So let me get to work on that, guys, and I will circle back just after I get everything taken off. It's gonna hold on to the brackets. My legs are burning. And you don't have to hold it like a, like you're squatting or anything, but. Well, this is good. It'll give you like six inches in the garage. Yeah, exactly. Oh, this is heavy. No, you're good. I'm gonna hold on to it. See where my hand is? Yeah. And then just pull back. It's gonna, it's gonna, there you go. Oh. Nice. Good teamwork, babe. High five. Love you. The muscles on the man. <laughs> <laughs> Up in her. Does it match? It doesn't even fit. Let's see. Okay, here we go. It'll go in there. No, it doesn't match. Does it match? No. It doesn't look like it matches, does it? No. So. Yeah, it's obviously gonna have to get painted. But it slides up in here. Well, it definitely doesn't match. Yeah, big surprise. And it doesn't even fit that well, so. I don't think it fits. We're gonna have to do some editing on it to get it to fit properly. Big surprise. That's what you get for Amazon quality, but I guess we're just gonna have to wait until we send it to the body shop because I don't want to like force it into this area and scratch. Like, Can you drive it without a bumper? All right. 
If this thing actually fits, I'm gonna be blown away. It is just making, don't know if I should trust that or not. Probably not gonna work out in my favor. All right, so we got that side in. Uh, obviously the truck is filthy dirty right here, but if we just do a little bit of spit shine, there's still a very different contrast of color between the truck and the actual roll pan. Again, this is not matched to OEM by any means. Wouldn't even expect that. But on this side, you guys can see we are making contact, which is gonna stop us pretty much right here in our tracks. Looks like Sean's gonna have to kind of bend this thing around to get it to work. He'll then have the ability to come back in here and clean up some of these crappy welds. Leave this thing off for the time being because there's no sense in forcing it. So I was really hoping today that we'd be able to get this roll pan fixed and on the truck, that way I could at least license plate for the time being and drive it as is. You know, the color contrast difference really wouldn't have bothered me all that much, knowing that it was mounted and I could have just dropped the truck off to Sean to get it all taken care of, but that doesn't even seem like it's gonna be the case. Or maybe even just let the Minimax kinda hang out in the garage for the time being, so that way I can kinda decide on what I wanna do with the front of this thing and really what I'd like to do uh, from a color match perspective. I mean, we've got a lot of different options that we could end up going with here. I know that I'm definitely going to do something with the mirrors, but I'm not really sure what sequence I'd like to do with the front bumper, whether it's a color match like the LBZ or maybe something a little bit different. Naughty. Nice. Naughty. Nice. Naughty. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, boopie, boopie, boopies. Hi. <laughs> So guys, that about wraps it up for this upload. Kind of sucks that we couldn't make complete progress there. What I want to know from you guys now is what kind of color matching would you like to see on this truck? Would you like to see it like the LBZ? The trim is just color matched. Would you like to see the entire bumper color match? Do you guys want to see all the mirrors color match? The mirror caps colors match? Let me know what you guys are thinking. Uh, trying to pick up some cab lights for the Minimax as well because no HD truck is complete without cab lights. We don't have them on the LBZ either, so I'm considering throwing a set on that as well. And I will take all that into consideration before we drop this thing off down at Sean, who actually did all the color matching on my 2015 LML. That thing turned out unbelievable. Sean, you are still the man for that. And guys, I'm happy a lot of you have contacted him to get your trucks color matched as well. A few of you actually brought your Silverados down and they have turned out immaculate. If you guys wanna hit him up for your color match needs, he has no problem conquering Chrome which is a very unique aspect because a lot of body shops will actually turn those jobs down just because they're such a pain if you don't have the process ironed out. But that is something that he absolutely has done. Get excited about the Duramax giveaway that will be going live January 1st, 2019. Look out for all of the new products coming to Enthusiast. I just stumbled there. Let's try that again. Look out for all the new products that are coming out with Enthusiast. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next upload. So please give this video a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. See you guys in the next upload. No free rides.